Hi everybody, hope you're all safe and well. Now in today's video, I'm gonna continue working on the fireplace area. Got lots of things to, to do today, so I'll just better get stuck straight into it. Let's get going. So this is progress so far. I've probably got another square meter of stones to, to go and find. Um, it's, yeah, it's coming, to, coming together rather nice. And also I've got to do the repairs each side. I've got to point up those big nasty cracks so we don't get anything falling down on us. So let's go and uh, grab a tape measure and go and look, see what stones we've got lying about in the land outside. Well I have a few candidates but I must admit they're getting harder and harder to find the right shape and size. Obviously the more work I do and use them they're, they're going to be you know, harder and harder to find for the right place. Never mind, there's one here, this might be okay. Yep, that's a candidate, I've got another possible here. No, that's too big. Oh, well, definitely got one there. Here's one I've cleaned earlier. Let's try this one. The stones kind of tell you where they go and where they won't go. Not worried too much about the ones underneath the fireplace, uh, underneath the fire, the wood burner. It's really more about just uh, making them fit. Okay. You can always trim a bit down with the breaker, make it fit. That might be fine, you don't know until you get the next ones in. Now I've found a few more but uh, because they're so buried and they've been out here quite a few years they've got a lot of moss and dirt on it on so what I'm going to do is set up my jet washer give them a quick blast off because if you're going to cement these in and you've got you know moss and stuff like that on it it ain't going to adhere properly so they've got to be clean when you use these stones so yeah I'll get my jet washer set up and that way yeah they can be nice and clean and ready to go when I take them in So they'll have to be moved about. I won't know until I get them in here. Slowly does it. There, almost in position. I've not had to lift it. Now, lots of you have asked in the comments, can we see the kittens? Yes, we can. Let's go and see what they're up to, the little rascals. Well, it appears that they're all sound asleep. Always lovely to check in on them. It's like the calm before the storm though, <laughs> when they awake. Right, oh, it's horrible out here. So cold now. Now we haven't got any snow, I don't know. Right, let's get back to these stones.
hopefully that one won't have to be moved too far. Now I've used the natural angle on it to allow for the stone behind it here. It's cut in at an angle. So I'm just going to move it about a bit. Depends what other stones I've got. The last one is the hardest. Now I may have just found what I'm looking for. That one. And possibly this one. Maybe that one. Now this is part of, not a pathway, but some steps leading to the pond, but I can alter that. Use something else. This one's rather large, so that's going to be a challenge getting it over there, but let's give it a go. Just double check the gain. 40, 40 by 50, a bit uneven, hey ho. 60. Yeah. First, let's see if I can get it on my sack barrel. Yep, it's moving okay. Let's get something underneath that. Piece of cake. That doesn't look too bad at all, actually. Yeah, the other side, I think, is better than this side. Now I've got to get it up the stairs. <laughs> so after all this effort, it's suitable. So let's try this method, leverage. Will it slide? Yes, it might just well do that. Okay. No, not that way. No, we won't try this method. We'll try another one. This won't be moving much once it's settled, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. Kind of keeps the symmetry going. Not that it's got to be symmetrical, but we always use our eyes, don't we, to line stuff up. Okay. We're narrowing down the, the space that we've got to fill. Step back, let's have a look. Perfect. Now this piece is an interesting piece because it's an old window lintel. 
So I don't know what, what it's doing out there, but it's only part of it. So it can't be used again. Well, not for a lintel anyway. And the reason why I know it's a lintel is because it's got the holes for the security bars in it. See them? One, two, three. They've had the vertical bars going up. Watch one's fingers. Wow. <laughs> that really does fit. Yeah. A little bit of levelling up here and there with these out stones. I knew that. Nearly there. I just found and glint another stone. A few more at the back. We're laughing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I found all the pieces to the jigsaw. Got a couple of little infills here and there. But it's all down. It's the right shape, size. I'm well happy with that. Worked out absolutely brilliant. It's just started to rain now. We're getting some water down the chimney, which is splashing up so it's not really ideal to be working underneath here i'm on a special mission now sam has just been and seen me and she said look we need some new chairs for the kitchen can you find some so i'm going to take a little break from this i'm going to get changed and we're going to head off out and see if i can find some nice kitchen chairs I need to get them before christmas okay i'm changed it's terrible when you get told to stop working isn't it? and go out antique hunting, I mean chair shopping. <laughs> right, let's get going. I've got about a 45 minute drive going to a fantastic Brocon in Laval. Always has something good there so. And who knows what else I might find in here other than chairs. Yeah, there's always a good selection in there. I've bought many a lovely item from there. So we're here, it's open, which is always a good start. Now he's let me film here before, I'm sure he will again, so I will ask before I start. Let's get out and have a look. Okay, we're in. I've asked him, he said yes, we can film, which is very nice of him. Wow, there's so much here to see. Straight away I can see some chairs. Let's just get those down, see if they're suitable. That's a shame, the design and that's okay, but it would have had a pad or something on the top there. They're all like that. Okay, it's a good start anyway. Let's carry on looking. That's nice. And after a little desk as well. I could find them. That would be magic. <laughs> Well, I was in negotiations with these chairs, but Sam called me and said she just bought some. So, so I'm not getting these now. She's happy with what she's bought, so it takes the pressure off me a bit. Now I can have a look around at some of the stuff I like. got myself two lids. Like I say, Sam's already got the chairs, so I didn't need to carry on looking for them, so let's head back. Okay, Sam's back. She's got the chairs in there, I think. Let's have a quick look. Oh, barley twist. Looks encouraging. Oh yeah, they look English. They look French. Okay. I might well get them all in. Right, we'll get them indoors, get them set up. Let's have a closer look. So this is the last of them to get in. It's the carver. Let's take a closer look at it. 
padded seat we may change them after Christmas once the cats have had a little scratch on them and we've got nice detail in here barley twist down there yeah good solid sturdy oak English chairs only got one carver unfortunately but that's okay nice bit of detail in here nice and clean don't need any work apart from the pad if we want to change that yeah please with them here's the other four chairs they've only got five unfortunately but never mind I'm quite happy with that got the nice barley twist detail on the legs all nice and clean basically ready to sit on yep give them a light polish and they'll be ready to go now Sam paid the princely sum for five of these chairs 50 euros yep what a bargain she done well she beat me on this challenge yeah we'll get these set up and now we're ready for Christmas chair out see how comfortable it is we do have a sit down after moving all them stones oh, oh yeah that's nice and comfortable oh yes right i don't want to get up now right that is it for this video thanks for watching let us know if you like the mixed content a little bit of brock hunting and other stuff shoved in and we'll see you all in the next one bye for now